up guys, this is George with Jig Pro Fishing. Welcome to our YouTube channel. The goal today is to do a solo mission offshore. I'm gonna be driving the boat, fishing, and hopefully I can land some fish as well by myself. Guys, let me show you a little bit of my rigging part, my rigging process, a war reel, some war rods I'm using. This is our power light rod. I have it paired with an Accurate Valiant 300. I have 20 pound line, 50 pound liter. 100 feet all the way to like 250, 300, depends on the current. This is my deep drop setup. This one I have very thin line, as I said before, eight pound braid is a mini electric reel. It's gonna allow me to stay vertical and don't like burn myself out with the current and the deep water. This is paired with our Power Plus rod. And then I have another Power Plus rod with a Shimano Oshu Jigger 2000. This one I'm going to use from 250 to about 400 feet. Again, depends on the current what I'm trying to do. Here, our last setup, I have our Revolution Pro Series, same blank, but in the spinner with a 5000 Zaragoza. I'm gonna have it rigged up with a micro jig with one of these 25 gram jigs. So if, I, if we see any wheel lines or anything floating, I'm gonna cast it at the mahi or triple tail or anything that is under these like floating structures. We're gonna be trying a bunch of different spots, moving a lot, trying different things. I wanna start deep first, trying to catch some snowy groupers and blue line tiles. Then we wanna make our way back to the shallower spots, hopefully catching some snappers and things like that. But again, we don't know what the day is gonna bring us. We're just gonna get offshore and try to catch some fish. I always say the same thing, when you get to the spot, you gotta understand what's happening, where are the conditions, where's the wind coming from, where's the current doing, how deep are we fishing, all those things to select the right jigs for these conditions. So right now, we are in 615 feet of water. We are fishing over a, like a really big hub here, targeting some sort of like deep water grouper, snowy grouper, or something like that. I'm gonna be using our Strike 440. So before I even drop anything, I let the boat drift. We have three and a half knots of current. That is a lot of current. Hopefully with the thin line that I have in my mini electric reel, that will allow me hopefully to stay vertical for longer and hopefully get a bite on the bottom. So right now I'm repositioning the boat. I'm gonna do the first drop and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go straight to the big compartment here. Jeez. Like this color for the deep water, 440 strike. And we are like above 600 feet of water. I usually recommend to rig jigs with a swivel on top, just on top at this time, because I'm targeting a snowy grouper. And I know if I hook one up, when it comes up, it's gonna blow up. I'm gonna put a bobbin swivel on the bottom hook as well. So if I hook that grouper on the bottom, when it comes up, it doesn't spin. It guarantees me that I'm gonna land that fish. You can see right here, split ring, bobbin swivel, split ring to the hook. I like always to put the, the bow sideways to the current. I'm gonna be dropping my jig here. Remember, I'm doing a solo mission today, so I'm gonna have to be managing the boat, dropping, and hopefully landing some fish as well. So the current is coming from the south to the north, so I'm moving that way. My boat is sideways. I'm gonna be dropping my jig. Actually, I'm gonna be casting it down current. So by the time it hits down, I'm gonna be fishing here. Casting down current. I'm gonna thumb my reel real good. Allow the jig to go down as vertical as possible. And here, you, these are yards, so you can see how fast it's going down. All right, so as you, can, you guys can see, because we're moving so fast, I'm already adjusting the boat. Make sure my line is where I want it. I want to be close to the boat. I don't want my line to be scoped right there. So I'm adjusting constantly. If you're fishing with the captain, usually the captain is doing the adjustments, but I'm in a solo mission, so it's a lot tougher when you're alone. Now for snowy grouper, I want to do very long pitches. Try to stay as close as possible to the bottom. Especially with this current. We're moving three, three and a half knots. It's a lot. As soon as I feel I'm scoped out, like I am right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it up and just 
let the reel work. I'm gonna go back in the helm and see where I am. So we're picking up and we're gonna try attempt number two. Yep, second drop on. I actually replaced my jig, I put a black jig 440. Try to pick up some of that scope. See my line going back. Have one motor in gear. Backing up to the current. Helping me out a little bit. Two, three cranks down to the bottom. I want to stay nice and tight to the bottom. Beautiful day out here. But summertime, the Gulf Stream is angry today. That's working against us. Yeah, look at my line. <laughs> it's in Miami. Unfortunately for us today, we're gonna have to move shallower. Plan, plan A didn't go as planned. It's too much current up here. We are gonna make a move, try something else. All right, guys, we were moving to the next spot and we saw these like huge seaweed lying here. You can catch a wahoo on the slow beach. You usually like to hang under these big patches down below. So I'm gonna drop a two, uh, this is actually a 340 strike. I'm not even gonna let it sit all the way to the bottom. Drop it about two, 300 feet and then bring it up. And I'm gonna work it like this all the way up. So another cool fact about this is a lot of people, a lot of people ask us about more vertical jigging and speed jigging with the rod. As you can see, I mean, you can, you know, you can work the rod a lot faster with no problem. It's just gonna have a little bit of a slower recoil from a traditional vertical jigging rod. It totally handles the movement, totally gets the action of a vertical jigging rod as well. Depends how you use it. So the answer is yes, you, you can do a little bit of vertical jigging with a sloppy jigging rod. When I do this, I like to speed it up and then slow it down. Give them a chance to see it. If something is following it, give that fish a chance to see my jig. Here, I'm gonna do something real quick. This is our 50 gram from my spinner. So this is another one of the possibilities. This micro jigging stuff you can use. You wanna catch bait? Whoop. Following us. Whoa, oh, there you go, fish on guys. And that's how you do it. The amount of things that you can do with the jigs is insane. See a little jack. Um, you know, a lot of you guys like bait fishing I believe this is really good light bait, right? I don't know anything about light bait fishing, but this could be a perfect size light bait uh, fish. I don't do any light bait, obviously, but just showing you some of the possibilities with the micro jigs. Still tons of fun to catch the stuff on micro jigs, super light gear. Another of the possibilities. So these new micro jigs, you can work them um, horizontally as well, like a stick bait. It has a very nice flatter. It actually swims. You can cast far away, and I'm right now I'm pitching it horizontally. If there is a mahi around, or there is any sort of predator around, you have a very good chance that you're gonna catch it with this micro jig. Really fun stuff. Cool, well, now we have some wind pushing us. So, I think I'm gonna drop this one and we're gonna make a move to the next spot. So guys, the solo mission is being rough so far. The wind is not helping us either. We have a big storm coming through us right now. So we have this wind coming in the same direction of the current. So now we're not only fighting with the current, but also with the wind. But no excuses. I'm gonna draw my jig down. I'm gonna make the adjustments that I had to make. I'm gonna catch some fish. So we actually changed spots, fishing 320 feet of water now. Have a lot of structure in this spot. So we're looking for snowy grouper, snapper, amberjacks, and tuna here. Oh, there it is. 
you go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. You guys saw that? So I saw this cool of fish slow down, change the speed, and boom, we're rowing. This is hopefully blackfin tuna again, fighting through the conditions in our solo mission today. <laughs> but we're bending the rod. Now I'm gonna have to land this fish by myself. Blackfin, mini blackfin tuna. In the boat. All right, well, we did it. <laughs> I don't know how, but we did it. We just kept going. So we're moving. We're about to rest at the drift. I look at the screen, slide up with fish. What do I do? Drop my jig. I saw where the fish are in the water column. Brought my jig up, pump it. Boom, blackfin tuna. Now, it's not a huge blackfin tuna, but it counts. There you go, right there. Beautiful blackfin. So we're gonna go ahead and release this one. All right. We're here quick. You're ready to go. He's ready to go. <laughs> Three, two, one. There you go. Cool. That one counts. Not the skunk guy. <laughs> Come on, guys. Right on the bottom. That's the right one. Let's go. That is the right one, Dennis. On the solo mission. That is the right one, guys. Didn't even make it to the bottom. Let's just hope it's a grouper. How cool was that? As soon as the wind, as soon as the wind stopped, came back, boom, fish on, guys. Probably a blackfin, but so cool how these fish hit right on the bottom, like inches from the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice, nice blackfin. So you guys gotta remember, we're in South Florida, summertime. Afternoon, we get storms every single day. So we're just literally navigating through these storms trying to make it happen today. We had already rain, wind, now it's calm again. Using the gear that we got and understanding the conditions to catch some fish. Here's another blackfin. Very important with these fish, especially with the tunas. Very careful when the, the fish gets closer to the boat. Careful with the tip of the rod. Okay, fish right there. There we go. Tuna on the boat. This is the reason why I love single hooks. These longer, skinnier jigs. Look at that hook set right there. Even though it's a small fish, but it's got a perfect hook set. Cool, beautiful black fin. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, he's ready to go. Oh, look at, look at how many fish he's spitting. Wow, look at that. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Look at this, look at this. Things are filling out. Look at this tiny squid. Look at that. How cool is that? That's the smallest squid I've seen in my life. Guys, look at the size of that squid. Smaller, smallest squid I've seen in my entire life. And this little bay fish here, he's still alive. He was, he was just shaking. This all came from that black thing tuna. And then some sort of like jellyfish here. Another like different bay fish. Look at that. This is like an eel. It's the eye of the eel. Look at that. That is so tiny. <laughs> it's just it's completely translucent. Whoa. Look at that. Incredible. All right, that was cool. We're gonna keep going. See, there is anything interesting here. I'm gonna let it drop. And I'm on. Ooh, 
Just like that, I just on the fall. I'm on again. Woo! They're loving this thing. On the fall. Oh, here we go. This is tons of fun. Here's another one. See, we'll see if there's any mahi around. I see blue runners. I see a bunch of stuff. I just let it free fall like this. And then just slowly bring it up. I see, I see them just really interested on it. Bring it up, there you go. Fish on. So much fun, guys. Blue runner. Blue runner, guys. Oh, <laughs> piss. <laughs> That's the best bay in town. We'll do one more drift. We're looking for mahi, triple tail, something a little better. After a crazy. Oh, I think, yeah, I got cut off. Something cut it off. Let me put a new hug on. There we go. That's another one. You can spend your whole day just doing this. I'm still tons of fun. Small jack. The, the cool thing about these as well is you can bring your kids out here. Uh, while you're trolling, you see one of these weed patches. Give them a little jigging rod with a 50 gram, 25 gram jig. And they're catching fish immediately. You don't need any bait, you don't need anything. Just one jig, one rod, and game on. Really good possibilities. Options for everybody in the family. Don't need any level of skill to do this. Just drop it down, bring it back up, and you just, you're gonna see all the fish and they just going to go after it. Gonna let it fall again. This time a little more. Now keep an eye for the big weed lines like this, weed patches like this. Wahoos like to hang under these things. And, uh, you know, it's good to give it a go. Fish on. That's a nicer one. That's a nicer. Nicer fish. Well, I wonder what it is. This has got some weight on it. Guys, this has got some weight. It's got some weight on it. Huh. I wonder what it is. Oh, don't tell me it's a wahoo. I got a wahoo, guys. I got a wahoo. Give me that gap, give me that gap. Give me that gap. Wahoo on, guys! Let's go! On the micro! Now! Guys, look at that wahoo! Wahoo on! What did I just tell you? You just never know. I don't even know if I'm gonna land this guy with the tiny hook, but I got it on. Zebra on, guys! Nice run. Nice run. Probably what, 10 pounds? On the micro. That's a GoPro? Got it. On the micro. Solo mission. Smoking me. Even if I don't land it, it's okay. I'm loving every second of this. Tell you got something bigger. Solo mission. Uh. On the micro.
Limitless, guys. Limitless. Not the biggest wahoo, but listen, it is a wahoo on a micro jig. We saw the wheel line, we stop, we believe on it. On our solo mission today, we go some sashimi for dinner. Nice zebra on that 50 gram dip, fresh at the oven, free after by myself. Yes, sir. There you go. Beautiful zebra right there. Guys. What did I tell you? Possibilities, limitless. That tiny micro jig just caught a wahoo under that wheel line. Everything, you just saw what I did. I just believe on it. They were tough, solo mission. I told you, we'll stick to it, we'll do it. We got dinner here and not just any dinner. This is epic here. With the 50 gram micro jig, our Revolution Pro Series, Power Plus, 20 pound liter, so 20 pound, 20 pound braid, 50 pound liter, tiny single hook. I got really lucky. I really thought this fish was going away, but no. Today he was coming home. How cool is that? Beautiful. On the micro, baby. All right, I, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the box. Keep it nice, ice. Like, and I saw the wheel line and I'm like, okay, let's check that out. Boom, guess what? There was a wahoo under there. <laughs> All right, cool. Time to put this guy in ice. Get this thing out. One out hook. Get him nice ice right there. No quantity, quality today. I think the wife is going to be happy, huh? Yeah, I think she's going to be pretty happy. <laughs> Guys, my chick is ready to retire. Look at... Here, hold it steady, hold it steady. He is... He is gone. That tiny single hook, one out. Look at the... Look at the fluorocarbon right there. I go extremely, extremely lucky. But, you know, that was meant to be. We work hard. Put a fish in the cooler. Now we're gonna keep going for another 30 minutes and guess what? We're gonna go home and eat that one. And we're back at the dock. Guys, it was such an epic day of fishing. It was tough fishing, right? So we are started with how to fight against the current, the conditions wind, rain, I mean, you name it. This is summer in South Florida. But we stick to it. We caught a couple of uh, blackfin tunas, abonita, and my first ever wahoo on the jig. Not just a jig, that was on a micro jig with the spinning gear, 14 pound braid. I mean, epic, 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 epic. And just because we insisted it, and we kept going, we believed on it, and we did it. Now, moving forward, we're gonna be uploading videos every Wednesday on our YouTube channel, not just fishing with me, if not fishing with our all pro staff, Colton, Andrew, Roberto, everybody. You guys gonna have a chance to see them fishing. Dennis is gonna be following them around the world and recording all of that to create the best content for you guys. So I highly recommend you guys subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. So every time we release a new video, you can see it. And that's all for today. See you guys in the next episode of the Jig Pro Fishing.